Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Do Re Mi Fantasy. Things are getting a little spicy, and we are steps away from stepping in those SpaghettiOs. Let's do a couple levels today. How about that? Oh, it's an auto-scroller. A new music track that we've never heard before. Seems kind of ominous. But we start off well with new pants. I haven't had this kind of tension since playing Aladdin way back when. Does anybody remember that? Ooh. Okay. Probably dead now. Oh. Okay. That could launch me into the air. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> That ended about as well as I thought it would. There's not really a clear indicator of what platforms are hot pop boppable and which ones are not. Looks like in that case, it was basically either or. Maybe it has to do with the ones that have rubble on top like this and the ones that don't, I don't know. Ooh, that was not well timed. But we gotta do these little baby hops. No, oh wait, maybe, the, maybe there's a little bit of truth to that. Oh, that was close. Is this level just all about this? Just doing these, dodging these wannabe potabos. Ooh, there's the, the gold star, just kind of hanging out in plain sight. Can we stop these with our bubbles? Can we? Nope. Whoa. This music kind of sounds like when you're playing um, Metal Gear Solid 2, when the game gets kind of wonky near the end. No spoilers or anything. I feel like I am just really toeing the line here on this one with all this hot lava. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, this is... This is tough, because like... Oh, that was an epic maneuver. It's not super clear on when stuff will appear and when it won't. Oh boy, can I get this? Yes! Emergency pants! Ooh! Goo monsters! I was afraid that this level wasn't going to actually have any legitimate enemies. Like me. I don't have any legitimate enemies. Okay. Yeah, this... Ooh! I need to not turn around. I almost went back the other direction. Oh! Oops. I'm not entirely sure what just happened. And this level is weird. Whoa. Okay. We'll go to the giant Caucasian finger directing us where to go. Thank you. Oh, man. I am getting incredibly lucky. This might seem skilled, but I promise you, there is none of that. The only thing that might be skilled is the level of poo in my pants right now from how tense I am. All right. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, this this is this is close. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like I have made a lot of really really close calls. I probably couldn't redo this the same way twice and get as close as I am. Oh. Yeah, this is incredibly tense. I hope that I can just do this this time. Oh. oh, man. I just want to do this this one time. Alright, give me something. There we go. The music is very ominous, especially in headphones. So if you aren't wearing headphones, I definitely recommend... Oh, boy. I definitely recommend it. Okay. Hopefully, they could give me a spare, spare pants. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No! Alright, please tell me there was a checkpoint in there. Alright, so we start with the pants. And we're in room two. Oh boy. I just... I just want to get this done. This is definitely a level that forces you to be patient. Very patient. You almost want to wait to let the screen scroll all the way before making your move and treading 
very, very lightly. Like I'm... When I was a kid, what I liked to do is I'd sneak downstairs during the, the evening, the, the night. Probably not evening, that's definitely not, it's definitely not when I did that. Um, at night. And, uh, you know, there's always like the cartoons of like the dad of the family who's on a diet and he would sneak downstairs to the kitchen and steal a big piece of chocolate cake from the fridge. Now, mind you, not much of a dessert guy, but I did love, did, I do love, what do I say did? I do love pizza rolls. So that used to be a thing for me as a kid, was I would sneak downstairs when it was very late and make myself something like a pizza roll or a pizza bagel, whatever I was into at the time. Okay, so no health there. Super cool of the game. Yeah, this level just basically requires you to, to wait until you can get to the, oh boy. Until you can get to the guaranteed platform. Yeah, it's these ones with, with crap on the top. But yeah, I used to do that and uh, sneak myself plenty of rolls, which always made myself feel good. It's kind of astounding though, how youth, oops, allows for just the most miserable of dietary choices. Like I could go and eat an entire bag of pizza rolls when I was like 15 years old and not feel the worst for it. But now if I eat like five of them, my body's like, mm -mm. nope, you shouldn't have done that. We're gonna have to take a couple days to recover and you better have some Tums. All right. So far, so good. We are, unfortunately though, persisting on one life, but thankfully we do have Oh man, these guys are real bad. I do like, I do like their uh, animation though. But we do, if we do have to game over, thankfully we did finish that last level. So we don't have to go back and do it again. That level was incredibly te- Oh. That's just mean. Game's like, come on, do it. You won't do it, you big baby. You won't eat the pizza rolls. Learn my lesson, I can't do it. It's not doctor recommended, although they are all natural, of course. Oof, all right, so we gotta watch out for fire-breathing baby birds, because they are incredibly not real. All right, how do I do the... Nope, how do I do the... Making the ladder thing, how do I do that? Is this not it? How do I do this? I feel like that's what I need. Is it not? Hold on. I'm holding up and I'm doing the... It's been eons since I've played this, so... Oh, there it is. It would help if I hit the right button. It would also help if I didn't say things awkwardly because I was nervous. Alright, so there's probably something good on that side, but I can't get back to it, unfortunately, so... I will never know. That looks like death. But my main concern is that the magic star is on that left path and I just ignored it. So hopefully it's not. If there's a booger in the sugar, then it's not. Okay, here we go. Okay, get rid of you. Oh man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, you know, you know what? I've had enough of you. This episode is all about close calls. Especially that first level. That should keep you on the edge of your seat, huh? Primed and ready to go. Get an early double pants, which is excellent. Ooh! That was a tactical move right there. Had to do it. Okay, there's the... There's the star. So we did not guess incorrectly, thankfully. He's so excited. I wish that I could feel that way about anything. Do we remember... Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently there's a ceiling there. Do we remember excitement, everybody? Oh... Well, that's fun. Okay, well... That's unfortunate, but... Thankfully we can... 
try this one again. This one wasn't as difficult. Not as long or hard. Can you climb down? Is the ladder only up? Yeah, it is. Okay. So there might be a hidden door or a way to progress through that spot, but I don't know it. Oh, I fell into the same trap. Also, it's a little frustrating that that bird thing is pretty impervious. Oh, wait, maybe I can do this. Ooh, wait. Okay, well, I'm kind of back to square one. That was, oh boy. That was a little pointless. But we had fun in the process, didn't we? But yeah, going back to uh, fun. Enjoying things. It feels like as you get older, this sounds, <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of negative, but uh, it's a little tougher to enjoy things sometimes, you know, like with the stresses of the world and the uh, things you gotta deal with as an adult, you know? And that's probably a common sense thing. As you get older, you have more responsibility, you have, you know, different things you have to be mindful of. You can't do or say things as freely as you used to, which is a little frustrating. Like, I, I mean, I already mentioned that, for example, like the whole eating whatever you want, whenever you want. Can't always do that as an adult, unfortunately. I mean, you can, but you will be paying the price. And sometimes it's just not worth it. It's just amazing how much longer it takes me to recover from basic things that I used to do freely. Like even just like eating something like candy. Like I can't even do that. I realized how pathetic I am when uh, I had seen family after they had gotten back from a trip and they brought me a little satchel of candy. A nice sack. Ooh, there's a bowling ball. And a boop. Ooh. That was probably... Can I bounce on you and get this? Nope. Okay. We'll just ignore that. They brought me some candy. And I, uh... Basically... My body was... Upset. And unwilling to compromise. After... A little bit of candy. Oh boy, I didn't get the thing. Well, at least the game forces you to do it a third time, huh? Okay, well I guess, since I didn't die, that does allow me to rack up some more musical notes. Which is unfortunate though. I wish I would have been able to... I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Playing games with my heart, okay. I wish that I would have been able to keep the original save file that I had, where I had like seven lives. But, as we all know, like the fight with Frosty, I probably would have burned through those right quick, so it's probably just wishful thinking. It's nostalgia at this point. Just give it up, you might say. Stop living in the past, D Mike. Move forward, not backwards. It's tough though. It's hard not to be nostalgic. Today's episode brought to you by sad things that I wish I still had the ability to do. Okay. No! Like, remember that there's fireballs. But it's okay. I've become a more refined adult. I'm like a fine wine that's been left out in the trunk of your car for a while that you forgot about, but you still want to drink it as an experiment. Oh my goodness. They have insane range. I don't like it. I don't, I don't know if it's equitable with like the, um, with the bubbles. I don't know if my bubbles can travel quite as far as their fire breath, whatever. It's a very cute animation, but very frustrating. Oh no, okay, whew. Let's go ahead and, oh wait, no, I made this mistake last time. We've learned our lesson. I think if I, maybe if I skidoo here. Nope. Maybe I can make it? Yes! Oh, ooh. I thought the game would have punished me and dipped me into the the marinara. It did not. Okay. So we're doing fine. Wait, where's the... Oh, maybe I already got it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm stuck under here. <laughs> no! All right, get up there. Come on, mutton. Wait, what? Uh, what? 
mean, I thought I found the... Wait, will the game tell me if I got the... The magic star thing? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I not get it in this level? I mean, I did. You saw it. But I don't know if it counted. And I'm down to my last hit, so, oh boy. Oof. That just... That's just mean. So we saw... The other part of that split path. I don't know if there's another way to go. I would really hate to have to... Consult the internet. Unless there's something that I'm missing. But as you saw... The left path did not have the magic star. The right one did. Unless my memory is really that, really that bad, which is unfortunate. I don't think so. This has to be not death, right? Does this kill you? Ooh, no. Is this? Wait, get out, get out of here. And you, you got, oh, that's the goal. Oh. So it was a sneaky, sneaky. I think I did get the thing or else it wouldn't let me progress. That's where I'm going to hang it up today. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Doremi Fantasy for Super Nintendo Sundays, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.